Yes, general release, no hype of beats. Keep stepping to the beat, just watch my feet. Your sneakers don't match they self. That's a L. Turn quicker than the dog trying to catch his tail. Like, oh my god, those boots is hard. Yeah, I got on sneaks, but I need the new. Funny how the new came out and I'm too. My older brother, I just saw an old picture and him and those kicks. You know I'm trying to get from eBay. They sort of look like Jordans. He said they caught flights. The day they arrived, I stared at them all night. I warmed the school, a grown woman said, nice. Wow, the old flight. <laughs> My name's Anton. I'm a sneakerhead first and foremost. I do the Dunk Exchange Las Vegas, which is a buy, sell, and trade event for sneakerheads and fashion aficionados during Magic Fashion Week out here in Vegas too. What is a sneakerhead? I mean, a sneakerhead is somebody who, I mean, plain and simple, let's break down the words. Sneaker, head. So all that's in my head is sneakers, right? So when you break it down like a fraction like that, I mean, that's pretty much as literal as it gets. You know what I mean? I'm a sneakerhead. I eat, sleep, breathe, shoes. This is just my Vegas collection. It was a system, folks, but it got kind of messed up, you know, for, for a while back in January. We was grinding so much. I actually got these the day they came out back in November, and uh, they just been sitting in the box over there. So I just I just decided to play in these, the black semen threes, you know. I'm about to wear the royal blue tins out there in one of the halves. One of my favorite pair of Jays ever is, is these right here, playoff 13s, you know. This is my first pair, you know, so these are kind of beat up and I've been wearing these for a while. I have a second pair at home of these, the same exact shoes. I mean, it's just like one of my favorite pairs ever. Food game 12s, kind of dirty. I, I wore them out a lot of times last year, wore them in games too. Well, as you can see, they're a little mashed up, but still have them. Cool grays, gotta have these. I mean, classic, you know, 11s. Cool gray 11s, you know, just classics, gotta have them. Not too many people had these ones. These are the anniversary uh, 11s. Like I said, the anniversary 11s, pretty hard to come by. Uh, they haven't released them in a while. Uh, so I, I was lucky to get my hands on these right here. But to be honest, that hurt, bro. I'm really surprised to hear you say that. Jordans aren't the best. Quality-wise? Yeah. Ask anybody. I agree with that. I agree there's only about three or four Jordans that are good for playing basketball in. The only ones that I'd play in probably are the 10s, the 11s, and I got, I got the 12s right here, the flu games. I really like these. I, I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me because I have shoes from back in the day that I can compare with. You know what I mean? I mean, the, the material is different when they re-retro certain sneakers. You know, for example, for ex for example. These are Concord 11s right here. Still in the box, never been worn. Concord 11s. I mean, in my opinion, I think they're remodified, kind of. I don't think that this is the exact shoe that he was playing in. You know, I think they're a lot different. I think these shoes are actually made more just for walking shoes. I don't think they're really made for basketball anymore. Now it's just become such a fashion statement. So there's J's and there's sneakers. Uh, worn out once. After that, I was like, nah, I ain't gonna wear them out again. Never even put these on my feet, you know, fresh out the box. This is the second time I've even taken them out the box. Gotta have these. If you're a sneakerhead, you don't have these, it's a problem. It's a, bad, it's a major problem. I do have these Jordans. I don't know what... These were my favorite ones. Um, just from a look standpoint that I liked. Obviously a low top, because I don't play anymore, so I don't need to be wearing high tops, but I don't know what these are. I don't, 
I was trying to ask the guys this year. I got to send a picture to Winston, I guess. My mom took me to the mall and I, um, I got the all black 13s. I think that was in like 1998, I think. It's my first pair of J's that I can remember, but my mom told me she had me in J's since I was a baby. So when I was first born, I started off in J's. So that's where my love for shoes probably began. When the Jordan 1s came out, I was one years old. When the Jordan 2s came out, you know, I was two. So, and it's kind of funny because my birthday's March 1st and the Jordans are always released within that February, March period. He always releases. So it's kind of like when I turn the age, so do the Jordan shoes. Like when I was 16, the Jordans were 16. 17s, 18s. When you see someone wearing those shoes, you automatically have that bond with someone because you can relate to them. Like, oh man, I had those shoes or I had that. But for me, like when I see someone wearing the 16s, I remember when I was 16 because those shoes coincide with the age that I was, you know what I mean? So it was almost like I was growing up with the Jordans, literally. In 1985, Michael Jordan flipped the game in every aspect. His shoes made him famous. His game made him universal, you know what I mean? You remember that commercial? Yeah. Must be the shoes. Is it the shoes? It's the shoes it, right? Money's gotta be the shoes. Shoes, shoes, shoes. shoes. You sure it's not the shoes? The whole Mars Blackman genius marketing propaganda. The whole band ones where they had bing. The little black barcode over the shoes and the commercial was simple, 15 seconds. They said, they're not gonna stop you from wearing it on the court. The NBA can't stop you from wearing them. That created drama for not only the player, but for the shoes that the player was wearing. You have kids who've never even seen Jordan step foot on the floor. And he might be long retired now, but through his shoes, he lives forever. Therefore, the public, the community, the people who are embracing this, the people who are absorbing what, what, you know, what Nike's marketing was doing, you know, was thinking in their heads, well, those shoes are defining him. So those shoes can define me too. Going back. It's my favorite is anytime we get a customized pair, like the one that we got at the NHSI. Um, but we got some customized Kevin Durant. But yeah, these Kevin Durant's right here, we got at the uh, NHSI. And uh, I know the other teams got them too. Um, but you know, as you see, you, know, you get the Finlay logo uh, on the front in our colors. The Finlay joints, Finlay Kobe's. They can have this shoe. But it's not the same color, not the same style, none of that, you know? These are specially made just for Finlay prep. That's why I like these a lot. I just like the Kevin Durant shoes a lot. It's me, right there. Right, 12 and a half. Back there, what's, what's up with them? What's up with them? They're cool. They're cool. Go well? They cool. Uh, <laughs> nah. <laughs> I showed you the line up. Yeah. Keep it a secret, though. This is another thing that the shoe head, sneaker head should know, like, I don't want to have the same thing everybody else got on, you know what I'm saying? I just got a thing like I don't want to be generic, you know what I'm saying? Like I always want to have my own style, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, back to the thing, when I feel good, when I look good, then I play good, you know what I'm saying? I don't feel good and look good when I play in the team shoes, so. You know, we've been very fortunate since we've uh, began. Nike has always been um, sort of our, 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 our sponsor. Um, or our shoe affiliate, if you will, of equipment and apparel. You know, obviously with our success, our um, arrangement with them has gotten better. Um, but um, that's where we get, obviously, our shoes, our uniforms, practice gear, travel, sweats. Team shoes um, to play ball in, then we get a pair for off the court, we get a pair to run in. Early in the year, they gave us, you know, a training shoe for running. Well, these are the first pair of shoes we ever got. We ran in these. Where he's definitely every day, so I mean, it's a lot of memory in these right here. Mm -hmm. And they gave us a preseason shoe, and then they gave us the Nike Hyperfuse shoe. Definitely blessed to be in a situation to have Nike, um, you know, support us the way they do. And, you know, we love everything that they give us. You know, we just feel very fortunate and blessed to, to be part of the Nike family and be able to, you know, wear the product. Back home, everybody thought, like, oh, I just hit Coach up. Coach, I need the new Jays. Coach, I need the new Kobe's, whatever. But nah, it's, it's, it's the total opposite of that. Okay. <laughs> I wish it was like that. I have way more. Being an Oakland soldier, 
you get some some nice stuff and, and this this is one of the things that we got we got a a special pair of shoes OS stands for Oakland Soldiers and then on the inside of the shoes you see it says Bay Area so it says Bay on this side. My uncle got me the Vince Carter that's back when Vince Carter was high. I had them with the springs on the bottom. Uh, that's back like that was like when I was playing that in San Francisco with um a boys and girls club. That was my first pair. That's when I first started being serious about hoop and that was like when I was five, four. So this is going back to the thing what I was talking about is like each shoe represents a memory. Different sneakerheads would they could see the shoe and you would like you would love it for different reasons. You know what I mean? And and I think this particular shoe has a, a, a I have a certain attachment to because I remember, you know, saving up not only saving up for it but waking up early and going to grab it and all that stuff. Sneakerheads always like uh, it's either the it's a basketball shoe thing, the Jordans or or you know the Kobe's and I'm just that's just not I don't have a lot of those you know and that's not what I'm into. I do do a few ID Nike IDs like our guys do. I don't do a ton. I've done a few you know just with the colors I guess. I, I like something that just you know pops at you and every time I do an ID pair, I always have the kids my kids initials MP and GP Maddie and Gavin. I don't wear, I don't like to wear dress shoes outside of games. I really don't, even on the weekends. And I try to wear tennis shoes as much as I can, just from a comfort level. I'm all about comfort. Coach just put out the rule: if I had t ten rebounds every game, I can wear like any shoes I want. My team and all the other people uh, came first in their pool for UIBL. They got these, the Peace Jams. Again, not too many people have them. At first, I was like, all right, I'm, I'm gonna wear the Peach Jams. That was the first game, like, I can wear any shoes. So I put them on, and I see this guy wearing, uh, Richie Peters, wear the same shoes. I was like, bro, what are you doing? Switch your shoes, I'll give you something else to wear. He's like, nah, man, it's whatever, it's all love. But his was all beat down and stuff, like he's been wearing them all year. And you know, mine's still kind of fresh. Anthony Bennett, number one player in Canada. I'm not doing my thing, I'm talking about grind. I'm not about to switch. I Make sure you get this one, Donald. Man, the switch at halftime, man, is just like, it's just something I do. Like, people be wearing sleeves and headbands and stuff, but like, if I'm playing bad in the first half, I switch the shoes, it, it changed my whole mental. I can get on track. If I'm playing good, then it just helped me stay on track. You know, it keep me looking good. When I, when I look good, I play good, so. It's, it's, it's really more about a feeling than anything, you know what I'm saying? The staff was on me one year where guys were wearing all different kinds of shoes and they were like, keep it uniform. So we kind of went to a year where we tried to get back to that and said, hey, everybody's got to, it's got to, you got to wear a team issued shoe. You know, everybody's big into, you know, wanting to kind of look different a little bit and stand out. And, and that's, that's fine to a certain extent because I was a little bit that way as a player as well. but. Just, you know, as long as you're playing hard and producing and giving effort, then you know what, uh, I can, that's one of those areas where I always say, I'll give that back to you. I remember showing up at a sneaker release and I bought like a pair for my brother, a pair for my sister, and I bought two pairs for me. I mean, you can do it that easy. And if they're going for 160 a piece, I'm not a mathematician, but that sounds like someone might have an addiction. I don't know. <laughs> I think I am just because of the pure volume and, and the way I think about them. Stuff. I mean, I like shoes. That's my story. I got the Air Force premiums, New York Cubans, inside out mids, black cream and fig Newton. Vandal Hollies are chrome tips on the shoestring. Albus packing red and black, my new thing. So many kids, you swear these kids are boosting. Dunks and trunks, we see y'all chumps with laughing. Uptown, no stitches, just switch kicks like with ass. I just got a wide variety of everything, really. Except for vans, I don't wear vans. Are those all J's? Uh, for the most part, yeah. Like the Kobe 5s, I got like maybe over 20 pairs of those. I'm trying to sell these though. Size 15, I don't even wear them to make my feet look big. Uh, Jordans to the top. Jordans, Jordans in between right here too. I clean the bottoms of my shoes. I mean, some people don't do that. That's something that I do personally. Air Max 90s, uh, Kobe's, Trainer 1.3s, um, Manny Pacquiao Trainer 1.3s. Not just any trainer. <laughs> You know what I mean? You know I'm from Queens. You know that I just copped the shoes. 
Oh wow, my first shoe ever was actually a pair of Adidas's. And uh, it was back in the Philippines. And that's what really got me into starting to like sneakers. You know, call it what you want, dude. You know, addiction and obsession. Got my pair. <laughs> 7,000, who's at 75? 7,000 out of 7,500. 7,000 right here, who's at 7.5? Go 7.5. You know, you have these sneaker lines, these kids line up for days and hours. I haven't slept yet. I'm still out here camping out. Why? I built all this on eBay. I was buying shoes and flipping them on eBay and just doing it over and over and over again. And I built this. I hope to God heaven looks like this. Oh! I've been chasing Jordan for as long as I can remember. Are they all waiting for shoes? I will never fall out of love with sneakers. If you're pushing, shoving, running, fighting, Someone in D.C. got stabbed for his sneakers already. You'll be trespassed from the mall. That's cool, but you're gonna have pushing and shoving. The anticipation is killing me. I'm just waiting to get inside this mall. We've been out here for hours, freezing. I can't even feel my toes. It's 6 o'clock, 6 a.m. Mike made them fly. Sneakerhead. 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 Because sneakerhead can mean so many things, but I've come to become comfortable with it. I would say I'm a sneakerhead. I think it's I think it's more of a culture than it is just about the sneakers. It's about the music. It's about the shoes. It's about the clothes. It's a whole movement. <laughs> Some people like to buy cars. Some people like to collect stamps. Some people like to buy houses. I like to buy sneakers. My name is Anton, and I'm a sneakerhead see the shoes on their feet. Like it all starts from the bottom. Finley shirt, man. This is the most amazing shirt out there. This is the best maglia del mondo and you have to wear it for everyone because it regards Finley basketball. You get your hands on this, man. It's you one of a kind. So. It's, it's kind of like a guarantee, like 45 points. 25 rebounds. 26 assists. That's what happens when you wear the Finlay t-shirt. Shots out of man. You want to get one of these shirts right here? First, you got to follow the Finley season. And you got to retweet the episode. So go ahead and do those two things, and hopefully, you, you know what I mean? Get one of these shirts. Now take my picture. Yeah. Yeah.